Hey folks, Boda Bob here. Thanks for stopping by. If it looks like I'm wearing the same clothes as I was in my last video, video number 62, I think it was. Yeah, 62. This will be video 63. Uh, it's because it's right after I turn the camera off and uh, I'm going to do the rest of the project. So, in my last video, I installed Triton screw in trailer wheel studs. Five of them on this side, five on the other side. I only showed you one side. It's a little repetitive if I show you both sides. So the other side's already done and uh, seems great. Uh, everything went well, but the real reason why I put these Triton wheel studs in was so I could put on wheel spacers. Now there are various wheel spacers out there. There's some expensive ones. I believe they're over $200, but right now, this Rock Tricks wheel spacer, one inch thick, not made for a Kubota. It's made for a Jeep CJ. It'll also work on other models of Jeeps, but it just happens to fit the same size hub as used here on the BX, on my 1850 at least. And I believe the, where I learned about this was on the uh, Orange Tractor forums. And I went in there and looked for um, people that were discussing spacers on their tractor and one gentleman asked hey what spacers should I get for my tractor and one guy said hey buy these fancy expensive ones over here and another guy says I spent forty two dollars for mine and he got one and a half inch spacers um, the page I'm going to link below has is the one inch there's also a link on there for I believe a two inch if you look around you can find other Jeep spacers that are one and a half inch I don't know if there's wider than that or not I opted to go with the one inch spacer. I was concerned about hitting my anti-scalping wheels on the mower deck. I won't know that until the spring, until I put the mower deck back on. So worst comes to worst, I'll have to remove the spacer and just run with the uh, uh, straight hubs. Um, and then in the fall, I can put these on as part of my fall service. Um, so basically, originally what I was going to do was use the bolts that held on the wheels to hold on the wheel spacer. The problem is the bolt will fit inside the recessed hole, but the 13 16 inch socket not go inside the recessed hole to secure the bolt. And that's why I had to put these studs on, the Triton studs. Like I said, I'll leave a link for everything that I used to do this project in the uh, description. This is how I did it. This is what I use. I'm not telling you it's going to work for you. It worked for me, um, but I'm not guaranteeing anything. That's all I'm saying, folks. With that said, I got most of the work done. The biggest part of the job was uh, putting the studs in. We're going to take these acorn nuts and we're going to put them on here. But before I do that, I'm gonna use a little thread locker because I don't think I'm gonna to have to remove the spacer. I think everything, based on my uh, research, everything looks like it's gonna work. The purpose of the wheel spacers is to widen the stance of the tractor. It's supposed to increase the stability. And with what I'm doing with my tractor, I think I need all the stability I can get. That's it. The spacer is installed. The only thing left to do now is to install the wheel.
what I did is I put that on the lowest torque rating for the impact wrench. Then I put it on the medium torque setting. So that's all it is to it, putting uh, some wheel spacers on there. Like I said, there are expensive uh, wheel spacers out there on the market. I went to um, Orange Tractor and they were talking about a, uh, how the Jeep wheel spacers were a lot cheaper and they work perfectly fine on the uh, Kubota. It's the same bolt pattern, same uh, threads, everything. Everything is the same. All you got to do is bolt it up. So I will leave a link to the spacer that I used. I'm not saying it's the best one, the cheapest one, the most expensive one. It's the one that I chose. And the reason I chose it because it was only one inch and I didn't want to spread it out a lot fat, um, wider. I just wanted to uh, have one inch of space. Let me talk about why I decided to put these spacers on. This is kind of at the end, but um, this will give me a little bit more clearance in here for running snow chains. And uh, before, I could put my fist in here between the tire and the back of the frame before I couldn't. That'll give me a little more clearance in here between some of the hardware that is uh, in the back of the tractor. And it'll imp improve the stability, increase the uh, width of the track by um, two inches. And uh, I think it's going to be a better uh, um, configuration for the tractor. With that said, I'm going to uh, wrap this up by jacking my tractor up, removing the uh, jack stands, getting it down on the ground, and getting ready to work. I don't know if you can hear it, but the rain is hitting the roof, and uh, I'm going to call it a night. And uh, yeah, this was an enjoyable project. It's one that's relatively easy. Uh, doesn't take a lot of skill to, uh, to do it. Anybody, I believe it's a, a, a thing that anyone with basic uh, mechanical skills can do and it was a lot of fun was able to do it in about uh, two or three hours both the studs and the spacers so and plus I had to set cameras up so that that always creates a, uh, a challenge so um, and adds to the length of time so yeah with that we'll wrap it up do me a favor if you've seen something I could do better leave a comment down below I uh, I'm never um, I'm always willing to learn from somebody that has more experience. Um, if you didn't like the video, give me a thumbs down, but tell me why you didn't like the video. I'm not looking for uh, rudeness, just looking for uh, constructive criticism. Hey, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Share this video with a friend. Until next time, this is a wrap. Cheers.